This is going to be a pretty crude video on different ways we can print from uh, Uniflow. So there's three or four ways we can do it once we turn on print and scan ability. As you can tell, we can drag or drop. Um, I have a PDF on my workstation, so if I just drag that over, it's a PDF I made in Notepad, so you could file print out of your browser to a Microsoft PDF creator. So any PDF can be dragged or dropped. So that is one way to get documents in. As you can see, we are assigned a unique URL. So you could email documents to this specific URL, and that would get in your secured print queue. Um, the other ways we can get documents in is there's a Chrome extension. So once I have the Chrome extension turned on, if I go File, go Print, in my print list, there's a Uniflow Online Printer. That is actually a Chrome extension for Uniflow. That will send a job to my print queue, my secured print queue, so if, if that's one of possibility. Um, the other way would be we have to have the ability to install an application. But if we can install the smart client connector, then we can print to any uh, another secured print queue, which is, so if I want to print this job this way, I just go file print, and I can have a secured print queue. I named mine DSI secured print input. I can print, let's just say this one's going to be black and white, so maybe we can tell the difference. And if I so now this I don't have to have as a pop-up. I just have mine because I demo. So I'm going to tell it that's a secured print queue. Uh, if I had local printers, I could print to that and have the system basically just follow through like any print job. It doesn't have to stop and wait for me. Uh, so And then if we have mobile apps, we can install apps on side of there that do the same thing. So as a recap, I think we can print to an email address. We can drag and drop print. We can print from a Chrome extension. And then if, if we need a real print driver, we, can, we have to be able to put the Chrome secured print app on. But if we can allow it to do the smart client connector, then we can print to another secured print queue that way. So there's at least four major ways to send print jobs. Once we have sent the print job, this is what Uniflow kind of looks like on your device. We can tell it that we want to log in. Oh, let me refresh mine. It's kind of paused out. It's your, so you authenticate, you log in. Then I will see secured prints and you'll see all the jobs I've submitted. So I submitted my notepad, I submitted the first one was the Chrome browser, and then the second one was the uh, secured print queue. You kind of know this is a Chrome browser because you see the percent %20, which is a space in uh, HTML. You can release all three at once, or you can delete ones that you don't want, anything of that manner. So I'm going to select all and just tell it to delete, and they're all going to go away. Thank you.